gotta go in out here. You gotta get the trunk out of there. All right. All go right. back there and get it. It's hot out now, boys. All right, what is up, everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Can't stop the lens from fogging up. There's nothing I can do about it, but we posted this trunk that we got from the attic of the Dorchester house. Ooh, it's deep in here, boys. About, I don't know, two months ago on offer up. And someone's offering 50 for it now. Ooh. This is getting great right here, boys. So we gotta uncover it. It's deep under that pile of stuff right there. Everything of the unearthing of. So this thing was probably sitting in that attic for like 12 decades. <laughs> and now it's sitting in the shed for months. This is a full blown treasure chest. The only thing that he might be skeptical about is the fact that the back doesn't freeze it. Oh shit. Should I try and like, nah, fuck it, right? Damn, so much gas got on it, though, dude. Some good old old English wood finish. And this thing will be looking brand new, right? Mm -hmm. Honestly, though. No, I'm being claiming serious shit. This is a really cool trunk. If they don't use it to actually, like... Well, they, I don't know. Maybe they'll use it for their clothes. That would be crazy, but someone would do that. It's definitely antique though, it's not like, it's old, like it's an old piece. All right, we just put some oil on it, Sammy did, and I put some more, some screws and the hinges in there. This thing's a dream come true. Shuts like that, ready for sale. Dude, bird gang. Giving the geese a dirty look, how dare she. How dare she. We're about ready to sell this table and offer up. Hopefully. All right, we just sold that table. It was right here. And the Tommy Bahama table, that was right here. And Sammy just organized this whole room. And I've been posting, I just posted about four items. Trying to get our eBay store to, by the end of the day, at least 100 items. And as you can see, we have more than 100 items probably on just that shelf. But this is literally what's posted just right here and over here on the ground, which is so unorganized, but like this stuff and on here is posted. Not these, those are hers. But uh, yeah, this is getting crazy. But we just got three packages in the mail. We sold the table and she actually wanted it, so that was cool. That's from she might. Dude, a heavy, a heavy <laughs> claim from Australia that dude. Stuff we don't have here. Dream. That's cool. We gotta put these in the freezer Pick though. Pick. Yeah, I gotta put them in the freezer. Cherry pie, that looks good. Mini chicken crimpy. <laughs> dude, Chicken stuff. crimps. Pizza. Vegemite. Is this toothpaste? No, it's like peanut butter. It's heavy. Heavy, Mike. Get your veggie, Mike, mate. Cheese. This is probably like. Tim Tam. So much less crazy. Um, I will all. eat all of this. We will. Oh, it's melting. And look at these. Packages that we gotta send. That's cool. Ready? Yes. Hello, Sammy and Tucker. Sending you some treaties from Aus to try. There's some rules, though. Vegemite toast slash butter first. Then put on a small amount. Like, tiny. PTO. So, you put butter on first, right? And then the Vegemite? Is mm -hmm. that what that meant? True. 
Tim Tams, Aussie way to eat them. Eat corners, suck coffee through Tim Tam, eat melty goodness. These? Uh-huh. Aussie style boys. Love Manda Panda, aka Manda Hanger. Awesome. Thank dude. you very much. So you much. gotta eat these Tim Tams. <laughs> Tim Tams! <laughs> Ooh, thanks. Oh, Rice Krispies box. Good mailing <laughs> thing. And this is all the way from England, the UK, somewhere. Maybe not England, but I think it is. Is it from our friend? Maybe. Are we sure who it's from? It's so funny that it's in a... Feng Shui for cats. Feng Shui for cats. Happy Ooh. cats. <laughs> 100 ways to a happy cat. Oh. Let's try and get to the note first, but this is wrapped well. Very well. Tucker and Sammy for the dream. You. Okay, let's get this popping. And close are a few books, bits and bobs I have a accumulated over the past couple of weeks from various car boot sales, flea markets as you guys call them. I hope this package finds you well and that the contents are in one piece. Please feel free to do what you wish with the key key ornaments. Display seller pass on to another cat enthusiast. The small brown ceramic however I'd like you to keep. It's Devonshire pottery unique to the UK and worth a fair amount to the right collector. Also enclosed are a couple of key related books. I figure you might Dig, and last but certainly not least, a dinky Volkswagen toy car from the 1920s. This car belonged to my grandfather, an avid collector of his own right, in his own right, and my inspiration. He played with this car as a boy. My mother, also myself, and my daughter have all left our mark upon it. I guess you could say something of a family heirloom. Now it belongs to you. I hope it will find a special place in your keep life, and who knows, one day soon perhaps you can pass it on to a little Tucker or Sammy. If your channel has taught me one thing, is to focus and share that positive energy. There is too much heat in the world today. In that regard, you are both a breath, a breath of fresh air. You guys are an inspiration. Thank you for and just wanted to say thank you for allowing us a brief glimpse into your life. Keep up the hard work, keep living the dream, and mostly keep being you. Don't ever change for anyone. Take care, peace, and love. The boy, Lewis. That's pretty cool. This is getting heavy. We sent this guy some stuff too already. Let's see. This we can just use for wrapping, I guess. Yes. Just throw it in. Or I can use it to like clean. Do you want to cut it and then I'll just take them all out and then Yes. Alright, these are all the key keys we got. This whole collection of keys and then the mother key, which is probably the scissor. And then this is the Volkswagen that we scooped from the boy. And we're going to keep this one. I'm going to put it in my room actually because I like it. Alright, for some reason, I guess eBay is just exhausting, but that was ridiculously exhausting and we actually got to 100 items. So I posted over, we posted over 30 items today, and Sammy posted some stuff on Macari. You got your pinky? Eating the chicken flavored shapes that we got today, and I just ate two packs of them. They're so good. But we are gonna go trash picking right now. It's blazing heat out though, but um, it's getting later in the day. So it should hopefully cool down a little bit, but. We're about to hit the streets. All right, we are about to go see what we can find on this beautiful day. Uh, what we can find for free on the streets, trash picking. So, about to hit them, hit it up. Ooh, this door is brutal. Bite though. Most likely scrap life, but could sell it possibly. It's just the frame, but. Some little scrap right here. These look like rotors, like brake rotors or something like that. This is heavy weight though, right here. Ooh. How how wild how wild is that trash pile right there? Wild. 
Look how heavy this operation is right here. Ooh, foul. Contents of the fridge right there. I can tell by that operation that that's just gross. Ugh. There's a piece of scrap right there. It's underneath everything now. We had one of them trees before. It's kind of cool, actually. All broken now. All the pieces are smashed off of it. There's the trike life. Looks like the same one we got. Taking the trike, taking the trike deep for this shirt. What is it? I knew it was a gold tea. Coogee. No way. Crazy. Alright, we were finding a few good things out by our house but it kind of drained out quick, so we decided to hit the shore town right by our, our house, pretty close by, like 15 miles away. And we're about to go, we know there's good stuff here, there always is. So we're about to hit the streets over here, down by the beach where all the rich people live because they throw out the best stuff usually. Crazy down here. Tad bit of something here. What is this thing? Oh, that's kind of cool, though. This is a little scene that I just found. It's just some sandpipers walking along the beach with the reeds, and then this holds candles. I don't know. Maybe a little scrap clean. Or a little flea market love. Not sure. What's this thing? Two bags that are kind of cool. This thing's kind of epic though. What? Back scratcher and a thing for your feet? What a game changer. Oh man, I might need to just take this whole box, just deal with it later. I've, I've been an idiot not to before, so I might just do it. Alright, I scooped the whole box. wonder if this is even in there. Wow, it's crazy what people throw out around here. Oh, back tire's destroyed, but... At least for scrap. A little road bike. Might as well grab this too while I'm here. All right, we were just cruising down the side of the road and we couldn't pass up this little operation we got going on here. The last mafioso, Jimmy the Weasel. What is all this shit? Wallpaper, wrapping paper? What is this shit? Take this for scrap. Shout out to the bearded diver though on this one. Cause he's got all these, this flooring shit. I guess this isn't a heavy claim like his was, but that was crazy what he got. I don't know if you guys saw that on his channel, but he got like an insane amount of free flooring. This is pretty much just a little scrap claim we're working on right here. So we got that little bit of scrap in that filing cabinet. 
What is this? Dude, kind of a sick little, like, DVD rack, that dude. If it wasn't so ruined. Alright, this is all the stuff we got from trash picking today. Got all this metal. All this scrap. This can all come out of here and get cut out and then the transformers. It's been really hot to try and do a lot of scrapping lately, but this wire all in here, it's, some of it's already stripped and some of it can be stripped by that machine that we got. We got, what else do we got here? This whole box of different stuff. Right there already a win, a quarter, sitting right on the top of there. That's a dreamer. We got this bike, probably gonna end up scrapping this filing cabinet, which is actually in worse condition than it looked. Oh, it's shots. It's broken though, I think. How's this box of goodies though? We got big loss, 2008. Those techniques are probably outdated, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Nobody ever wanted that school for him. Bruce Willis diehard collection. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, these are gold. Hold on, can I get up here? Because I'm a little bit too short for this one. Now you want to take a gander at it? What else we got? We got snow dogs. Oh, man, so good. So good. Never saw it. Flicka. Sounds good. No, I never saw snow dogs either. No. Why would they ever throw this out? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. The Fellowship <laughs> of the Rings. VHS, the VHS. The host. The host. This actually looks like a good book. Except you'd never read it all day. Never have time to read that. No one's got time to read books, let's be honest. Oh. Porn identity. Oh shit, the porn files? Hold up. Hold up, let's see if it's in here. I think this is cell light. Aw oh, shit, boys, it's in here. They're all in here. Alright, we in here. We That's in why here. I was trying to say that this was the oh, signs. Fuck, signs. They got signs? Hardball? Case? No way, and they threw out the tutors too? This too, that goes to the other season. And it's not even scratched really. Sure Keep going. I don't know what that is. Oh shit, the last stand, widescreen. We already have that, but yeah, Modern so. Warfare too, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Keanu Reeves Hardball. Have you ball. seen that Holy movie? shit, this is a good movie. Cheaper by the dozen. There's the last stand. never really liked that movie. But here's the last stand, you want to shove that in there? No, because you just threw it over there. Oh, my bad. That's something weird in there, I don't even want to know what's in there to be honest. Lord of the Rings. So they threw out... The two towers. Both their Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Talladega Knights. Probably funny, but I've I don't seen really it. like him. Uh, Capote. I feel like this is not a... A good movie. I mean, the case looks cool, but they threw out their fucking weird-ass, like, little... I think that mostly this stuff's gonna go in the trash. Oh, it's poopery. Candles. All right, most of the DVDs were the big score. All those DVDs though? Who throws stuff like this out? Why? MJ's waiting patiently for the fan to come home. Oh, he's so good. MJ. What's in that, in that pill bottle thing? Pill bottle? What kind of pills are those? Do you have any idea? They're just for old people, like, or like, narcotics. There's two different kinds. The one looks this like. I don't know. That one? What this? is that? It doesn't look like a narcotic. <laughs> what does it look like? Just from the numbers. I mean, Teve is just like a that they do make narcotics, whatever. But I don't know. Five, seven, six, eight. Did we find drugs in the trash? We found drugs 
<laughs> we did though, dude. You should take that and see what it does to you. No. Like, so, no, we should take them and sell them on the dark web. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you weren't kidding. Do you want that for burning different candle wax? Shit, someone's lighting fireworks off. Heavy. What is it? It's a medication used to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It's a atypical anti psychotic drug. Team MJ bipolar. He's so bipolar. He's MJ, you need an anti psychotic kiss right now. <laughs> 